So today we're going to look at another high yield topic from the statistics domain. So let's start as ever with this question. So the correct answer here was D, the interquartile range is 30 millimeters of mercury. So this is called a box and whisker plot. So the interquartile range is the range from the upper quartile, which is marked here, and you take away from that the lower quartile reading, which is here. And so in this case, that gives this answer. So let's just go through the components of a box and whisker plot. So the box and whisker plot is called this because it looks like there's a box here in the middle and then you've got a whisker to one side and a whisker on the other side. So the whisker on the left in this situation is the lowest used value. The left part of the box is the lower quartile which equates to the 25th centile. A 25% of the data will be lower than this number. The right side of the box is the upper quartile, which equates to the 75th centile. So 75% of the data will be lower than this number. This line here is the median. Now that might not always be in the middle. Okay, it might not be you know dead central, and that's because the median could be negatively or positively skewed. It might be slightly left of center, slightly right of center. Then the outer whisker here is the highest used value. And you see over here, an extra circle, sometimes it's shown as a diamond. This is a particularly high or particularly low value. So it would be considered an outlier if it's more than one and a half times the interquartile range from either the upper or lower quartile. And so this is, you know, considered to be a value that's so high or so low that it's not part of the main data. So it's higher than the maximum used range. So in this case, you know, we wouldn't use this value. So that's a box and whisker plot. I hope that's been useful and some of the other important statistical topics, sort of interpreting graphs and charts that you need to be aware of, are listed here. So thanks again for joining us and do join us again tomorrow for another issue of the 30 Day Challenge. Thank you.